What's going on guys? So this is my 2021 Silverado Trail Boss and I have the 2 inch SST kit, but this should apply to the 4 inch kit on the standard Silverado as well. So if you've been around the channel for a while, you know I've taken this thing off road. I've taken this thing drag racing, four-wheel drive launches. I've done pretty much everything with this truck as it sits. And so there's a lot of people asking, what do the angles look like? What is four-wheel drive like on here? Because apparently four-wheel drive is like a, you can't do that if you level your truck. Well, I'm here to show you what the angles look like, give my experience with using four-wheel drive. And to answer the big question, can you use four-wheel auto once you have this kit installed? Go ahead and just take a dive underneath here. That's your angles. I mean, comes with upper control arms to correct the angle because your factory ones are garbo. But as you see, our axles are in pretty good shape. They're not leaking. No extreme sharp angles that I see. Once again, axles totally fine. Come back here. That's your angle. Come up here. That is your upper control arm, obviously. Factory Rancho shocks. They are greasable. They're extremely dirty, as you can tell. But man, everything looks fine to me, right? So if you um, have followed the channel, you know we did some four-wheel drive testing on the street. And then we went to the drag strip. And even at the drag strip, we spun the front tires a little bit. Yes, sir! <laughs> so, I was definitely not being easy on it. Now, the big question is, how long will that last? And that answer, I do not know. Because, obviously, it is much more of a strain. The truck is lifted. The axles are extended more. When you're launching this thing in full drive, especially with these big heavy wheels and tires, there's definitely a lot more strain on the truck. And so, can you do this for 100,000 miles, goofing off every weekend? Can't really say about that, but for doing, I don't even know how many times I've launched this thing in full drive, um, it's held up perfectly fine. Our tie rods have been fine. Our axles have been fine. It's not done anything weird. Just uh, spooling it up, you know, say spooling it up, on the brakes a little bit, giving it a little bit of power, allowing the system to preload, I think helps a lot rather than if you were just not on the gas, not on the brake, and then just jab the crap out of it. It just immediately full power, shocking it. I think that's where you're gonna have issues. I think if you do like I do, brake, apply some throttle, that way everything starts getting prepared. I think that's gonna be fine. I don't think you're really gonna have any issues. Obviously only time will tell, but as far as my experience, I think that's what's best. I think if you shock it, that's where it's gonna have an issue. And that is why they say no four wheel auto because when you're in four wheel auto the truck is essentially in two wheel but it's prepared to immediately drop it in four wheel if the tires start spinning which i've never personally had a need for four wheel auto i saw on the trail boss page some people like driving it with heavy rain uh obviously in the snow i don't know why you wouldn't just put it in four wheel drive high and just run it that, that's what i would do if i was driving everywhere in the snow um, because when you're four wheel auto it's essentially locked in but not engaged so your two wheel, it starts spinning, boom, four wheel drive locks in. And that I think is why they say don't use four wheel auto once you have this kit because it's shocking the system. It's going from two wheel and then boom, everything hits the front four wheel drive system. It's locking in. That's where you're gonna have issues. That's where you're gonna snap an axle or possibly bend a tie rod because it's immediately just, I mean, you could think about it, just from having no power to it and then just the shock of that engaging while you're driving. Like you could be spinning a lot of rpms and then it senses that and boom hits it can you continue to run it sure it's your truck do what you want but i think um 
personally, I never use four wheel auto. I always use four wheel drive if I know I'm gonna need four wheel drive. And so far, so good. Haven't had any issues out of it. Like I said, not a long term, but there was questions. So I wanted to show you all exactly what everything looks like angle wise. And then of course my experience so far and my thoughts on the four wheel auto. Uh, if you wanna run that, then go for it. But personally, I just don't really, you know, have a desire to. So anyways, with that being said, hopefully you did enjoy. See y'all in the next one.